Hello, this is Wright. Uh, thank you for w taking time out to watch this video today. Um, sorry this is the first one I've made in a while, but it's been kind of, you know, busy stuff. So, uh, as a lot of you know, I entered Rosa Kelly's um, Halloween Pocket Letter Challenge. And I made the little my little uh, Invaders from Mars pocket letter, and she received it, and she totally enjoyed it. And uh, Ariel, who was with her, really enjoyed it. So, um, she did the drawing re recently, and I and I won. So, um, this came in the mail today. Uh, I already went through it because. Uh, I may I already made a tried to make a video for this, and I didn't you know wasn't too happy with how it turned out. So uh, apologize for that, but also apologies because I've probably got everything mixed up in here. So I'll have to go back and look to see how everything goes. But um, just for the idea. Um, Rosa gifted me some of these uh, sugar skulls. It's got some gold and uh, black and white. Also, um, she got me a note. I read it and just thank you. And um, fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. Nice little skull sign. Interesting to figure out how to use that. For me to use. Then there's this big shipboard witch. And I'm not sure if she distressed it or if it came this way. Either way, this looks like a fun piece. I mean, this looks like a fun piece to uh, see what I can do something with. And then, uh -huh. like I said, this is the letter that got the envelope that got all jumbled up, so I apologize for that. So, but I, like I said, I tried to make a, a couple of attempts to make a video, and they just didn't work out as I wanted. So, so my apologies there. But um, back to the pocket letter, I envelope loaded envelope have these uh, letters. Wicked, spooky, boo. I'm sure um, there are a lot that she's also used in here. I like the bats. I like the bats in this. In real life, I am scared to death of bats. I mean, those are the... If there is an animal that scares me more than anything, it's bats. So that might be one of the reasons why... You know, I haven't gotten to the horror side much of Halloween. It's for me. It's always always been tr trick or treating and maybe science fiction related stuff. But, but uh, this is another. This is another group of chipboard. Uh, looks like houses, and I guess I they look very nice and. I, I was trying to think, see when it first, when I first saw it, if they were, you know, like, like some sort of kit. But I think they're just, you know, sep just to use separately. So thank you there. And then we have uh, these shakers. I'm not sure if Rosa made them or not, but these look fun. I haven't gotten a chance to make a shaker video, shaker card, or anything like that yet. So, that's in the stuff to learn file. Uh, then I got these spiders, spider webs, and ghosts. These are you know, stickers or something. Be interesting to see that. Okay, then up here. Um, whoops. This is stamp set. 
So you see the cat, this black cat, another bat, pumpkin, haunted house. Nice looking haunted house. So and I guess that's a doorknob. Funky looking north doorknob, but it's a doorknob. I not a doorknob in it. Uh whatever you use to uh knock the knock on the door with then you have these uh kind of interesting stickers they change from uh pretty photos to skeletons so that's always interesting then we got this uh, stamp set and die cuts. So that's really fun. It's like Fright, Fright Night, Tricks and Treats. Like Witch, Cat, like Gravestone, Witch's Hat. And some uh, Martha Stewart paper. Looks nice. I definitely want to see what projects I can make next year using these. And then in the back you have these little pumpkins which will be fun to use. And just one look at the the uh, envelope sans its uh, goodies. So um, this is a bat clothespin, and you see the uh, lace and the applique and the boo. And the more lace and the paper. I love the paper. And this is like this is like the kind of paper that you can use for a lot of different style projects. So that's what looks enjoyable. So now we have here's the back and another pumpkin and Read this, Bone Appetite. It's a kind of nice little pun, pun there. Let's check out this lacing. Lace, excuse me. And this lace up here. And finally back up here. So, um, thank you, Rosa, for the uh, prize and all the goodies. I'm sure they'll be put to good use next Halloween. So uh, thank you for watching my channel today. Um, put like if you, you know, click on the like thing if you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, they're over 50 now, so um, hope you can uh, check me out next time. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.